In this video, we're playing Bob the Beaver Returns by Maxwell Shirt. Let's check it out. Bob the Beaver Returns. Nothing like a nice day in the woods. <laughs> Professor McNutts. Uh, creatures. Good luck trying to save your furry friends, rodent. <laughs> Man. Uh, so this is, um, I don't know if anyone's played it, uh, but as the name. As the name uh, implies, this is a sequel to, uh, you know, a different Bob the Beaver game. But um, this one looks a lot. I mean, from what I remember, this one looks a lot better. Um, looks like the art is like more uh, fleshed out, um, stuff like that. So pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, why else would you want a cookie, right? You're hungry. Um. Yeah, the, the character is like the shading, like it, it looks like you cranked the, um, you took it to the limit, um, basically with some of these characters, um, you know, they're as large as they can be, looks like they have as many colors as they can have, so that's really cool to see, because, you know, a lot of times, or a lot of the games that I play on here anyway, and I really like the more like NES style look, um, or like more limited colors, like those are great for sure, but, um, I feel like a lot of times you don't successfully see, or you don't see, um, art that successfully uses like you know seven or eight colors in it um, and I think that these characters do a great job and some of the tiles as well so I don't really know where I'm going um, I just know when I went right okay <laughs> answered my question as I say when I went right um, it was not the right way nutty castle this looks awesome. This looks like, um, kind of reminds me of the other game that I played, The Builder's Path. There was like a tower that went up to Greep or whatever, but, um, yeah, that's kind of what this feels like a little bit, but really cool. Like a mix of that and just, I guess just like a castle. I was gonna say Peach's Castle, but this just looks like a castle castle. <laughs> um, and these propeller platforms. Like, this is awesome. Yeah, this is great. You know, I really like stuff like that where, like, you, um, you consider, like, I guess, like, an explanation of why that platform is there. Because, like, gameplay-wise, of course you need a platform there. So, you know, it could just float. But you put propellers on it, the other platforms, like, windowsills. Um, yeah, I think that's just really smart. <laughs> I said Peach's Castle earlier. Um, but, uh... Sorry, I'm reading this. I don't know if that's supposed to be a stained glass window, uh, but it kind of looks like it. So maybe maybe Peach's Castle was the inspiration for, for the tower. I don't know. And you got the red, um, like the red roof. Maybe maybe I was maybe I was on to something. I don't know. These things though. These things are a little. This is a bit. <laughs> this is a bit much. Get. Is that from... Isn't that a Stripey the Monkey thing? In the Justy games? Oh no, it's it's uh, it's Gecko. Grim Gecko or something like that. Falling down... <laughs> nope. Oh, nice! That, that was awesome. That was a really good use of the foreground trick. <laughs> I've seen, I don't know who started this like trend, but there's definitely been like, uh, there's been a few games that have done the, the minecart thing. I mean, 
you could argue like Donkey Kong Country or something like that, but I'm talking about like in terms of Bloxless games, like there was definitely one that kind of just like started it. Uh, and then people are like, yes, that's awesome. I can't remember. I think we might've already featured it before or played it on this channel. I can't remember. Um, but I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not dissing anyone. I think it's awesome. Um, was it a Twin Bros game? Seems like something they might do. I don't know. No, they did the surf thing. They're like the lava surfing, which is, that was really cool. I, I guess, yeah, I'll stop. I can't remember who did it. <laughs> Turn wood town. I've been here since I was a kid. Oh no. Some screams, it's never good. There was a, a game for Super Nintendo called uh, Mr. <laughs> This is what it reminds me of because it's supposed to be the Z. It's called Mr. Nuts. And uh, it wasn't very good. I think they made a sequel and then it like got canceled, but then like the ROM surfaced on the internet and you can play the. Yeah, I don't Maybe it came out in Europe. I don't know. Um, so, that being said, this game is. Uh, this is more fun than Mr. Nuts. And yes, I have played it, and it was not very, it wasn't very good. But I think the first one or the second one was like a Sonic clone. I don't know. You could look it up, but it they're definitely not worth checking out. Um, this is for sure a, a better beaver game. Did I already go up the mountain? Yeah. I went up there. Yeah, oh, that's kind of weird. I feel like these are supposed to be... Oh, you know what? They probably chose to make those not green blocks because then you could kind of skip the area or something. Pretty smart. These guys are awesome. These little mole, like they're on little drill cars. They kind of remind me of, I, I'll stop saying that, but they kind of remind me of like a Sonic enemy. Um, but I think these are moles riding on a thing. The Sonic, they would just be, they would just be robots, bad nicks or whatever. Um, but they'd have an animal trapped inside of them, so. <laughs> he was so confident, and then he realized, nope, more mountain. Go up on a tree. This is intense. It's just like a, a long game, um, but it's cool. I, I feel like I'm actually, I don't know, like I'm seeing new stuff and I'm progressing. Um, so it doesn't feel like it's long, if that makes sense. Like I definitely feel like I'm, I'm getting somewhere. Maybe the sewers. Nope, didn't mean to trigger that again. So can I go up here now that I got the, the key? Sure enough. No, it did not. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. Okay, get that. So I got to go to the sewers. Um, I don't remember. I guess there was there was water over here. Maybe it was there. Oh, yep. Look at that.
Hmm. Got these, um... These, uh... <laughs> what is it? Manati. Like the Legend of Daniel games, I think. That's what it was. They, these kind of were in those. I think they got it from, like, Mario Land 2. And then they just kind of started showing up in the other games. It's kind of like the minecart thing. It's like someone does a thing, and the people are like, that's cool. And they do more. I, I don't know. I, I'm not I'm not ragging on anyone. Again, I think it's actually really cool. I think it's like a cool like, community thing, like when someone does something, and then you kind of see it, like, repeated. Um, but yeah, I think the first time I saw these little boxes with the hands coming out of them was one of those uh, Legend of Daniel games. Because I recognize the... It, it, rem it reminded me of Mario Land 2. I think it's in, like, Wario's Castle. Um, maybe not. It's been a long time since I played through that game. It's for the Game Boy. You haven't checked it out. I, I, w I was going to say you're missing out, but... Um, I feel like it's one of the more forgotten Mario games. Like, the Game Boy ones. I can understand the first one being forgotten. Um, the second one's pretty good. Get the nuts, Mac. I do like that, uh... Maxwell, Maxwell sure I don't know how, I don't think I'm saying your name right, so I'm just gonna say Maxwell. Uh, I like that you're kind of seeing the the villain um, and interacting with them as you go through the game and you're hearing you know them speak and stuff. I feel like a lot of games is just like the, the villain is just waiting for you at the end, you're like haha I did this thing, come get me type thing. Um, and I feel like this is like a developing story as I go, I feel like I'm kind of like always on the tail end of this character and I'm like you know foiling their plans as I go so that, I think that's really cool uh, from a storytelling standpoint it's really cool to have that oh come on Ugh. <laughs> oh sorry there's a long drop luckily it's not as bad as I thought it was so I was being a little dramatic sorry about that uh, but yeah, from a storytelling standpoint, it's just great to to see that. Um, I don't know why my intuition told me to just throw that up at him, but uh, he was a key, so I guess that was the right thing to do. And I'm going to do it to this guy, too. Oh, no. Uh, I lost my hammer now. Um, well, hopefully I don't have any more to collect, because that's... I'll have to start over from a checkpoint or something. Oh, looks like that was good. You did it. You saved the forest. <laughs> nice. Yeah, um, Maxwell, Maxwell shirt. Um, that was uh, that was an incredible game. There was a lot going on there. Um, you know, the art, the level design, all of it, great. If you haven't played it yet, definitely check it out. Probably one of the best Bloxels games I've played. Uh, I look forward to a sequel or, you know, Maxwell, if you make another game, that'd be great. Uh, we will play it probably, not probably, we will for sure play it, um, so anyway. If you have a game that you want to recommend, uh, let us know in the comments and we will add it to our list of games to check out in the future. That's it for this video, so we'll see you next time.